for a moment I was like, what are you talking about also? But I the thing. I know, I know. <sighs> Alright. That went literally that went. The crock. Yeah. Into your into the crock that's against the wall. Kobe. Kobe! Um Makima. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Adam, I'm Sam, and I'm Will, and we are Working Titles! We're back. We're back. It is that time, Chainsaw Man, episode four. There's no title. Yeah. Last on, Bat Battle. We killed a bat. Yeah. Jumanji style. (coughs) Power tricked. Our boy Denji. Yeah. And Denji decided to avenge his uh, new friend and save the cat as well. Yeah. In the process, hopefully save the cat as well and power. Yeah. So, guys, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Leave a comment down below. How you feeling about the show? Episode 4 in particular. Let us know your thoughts on this episode. Don't be a manga spoiler. Check out the Patreon. We got Death Note early weeks in advance for you. We got some surprise movies that are up on there right now. We also got some Studio Ghibli movies that you guys are aware of that are up there right now. So check them out. Be the first ones to get those. And we're going to punch it. Love you. Bye. We're back. Oh shit. Ugh. Pharaoh. Oh, interesting. She just eats cow. all the guts and cow and the yeah, yeah. Shut up. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. A bear. Can she Whoa, kill Whoa, that's cool. Oh no, I wanna see the fight with her killing the bear. Oh! Wow. Oh, wild. guys, don't you love this Pachito <laughs> sensor right now? <laughs> Thank you, Pachito. Cho, whatever his name is. <laughs> God damn, I kind of need to eat. That's a cute game. Yeah. That was so cool. Dude, she's like a, a rage virus zombie. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Could you imagine that on like your bare skin? Yeah, hitting the asshole.血は透き通り、匂いも、塩を感じるのも、それで、それで最近初めてわかったんじゃ。血は温かくて。And you're so cold. Yeah, the warmth of like a friend or another person. Oh. Oh wait, they're together. Yeah. Oh, that's so morbid and sweet yeah. at the same time. Now go back to killing bears. He got her out. You owe me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're both deprived of yeah. the warmth of another human. Such a foolish reason. <laughs> wow, that looks good. Wait, so did he do it? <laughs> or no? The mystery. Oh, mystery. okay, you make fun of which best. <laughs> His face is like, <gasps> wait. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Why? Oh no! Oh! Oh no! A new demon? Was it one of those like invisible Devil? anime attacks? Oh! Oh, the intro one. It's a uh, Jupa. Oh, it's the. Oh! <laughs> it's Jupa. I was gonna say it's the thing that Luke Skywalker milks. Oh! Both of those are horrible. <laughs> Jeez. That's the point. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I didn't even see the nipples. You were right about yeah, that. Yeah, it is. I thought you were just saying that. Look at all its penis appendages. Stop. Ew, please stop saying that. <laughs> I said it once. I don't care. It's enough. <laughs> it was enough for me not to want to hear it again. <laughs> oh! Uh, can you even do it twice that in a row? Is that yeah. Him? Uh, I think he said Oh, uh, I don't think it worked. Since <laughs> Oh. Uh, 
ジャンカイエリア外に行くお前たちが確認されているお前血の魔人に殺されそうになっただろう Nah, I hit myself in the head He's gonna protect her お前はまた悪魔に肩入れしているなさあどうでしたかな Smart kid 娘がチェンソーの人に直接お会いしたいと What? それをかばったお前の処分される。だが死者も出なかったし、ひとつだけ条件を飲むなら、どうだ、分かったら返事。ああ、あたまに。ブラッド。安心してくれ。あんたらみてえにご立派な目標はねえし、しょぼい夢しかねえけどよ。てめえと同じぐらい、俺、マジでやっからさ、ドーンと期待しといてくれ。<clears throat> That was weird. Straighten yourself up. He looks good. No, he looks good. Benjo Chainsaw to not the Komo in Okuma Kusubo. Kondo a Hidden Okuma Shugiki Okuma Stata Komo Hidden Okuma Juno Ukraine or Hopkins Salmo Sendisha. Yeah, I don't really get that. How were they just allowed to walk out? So I believe in the spirit. I don't really get that. How were they just allowed to walk out? Yeah, I don't really get that. How were they just allowed to walk out? Yeah, I don't really get that. How were they just allowed to walk out? Yeah, I don't really get that. How were they just allowed to walk out? Yeah, I don't really get that. How were they just allowed to walk out? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she looks so devious. <laughs> Shut it off! It's all they're good for. <laughs> Just turning them off. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking annoying things. Good view. Isn't Denji living with him? <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, They're roommates. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna wake up and Denji's like screaming with peanut butter and jelly all over his face. <laughs> and honey and cinnamon. And honey and cinnamon. <clears throat> I like his hair down like this. Yeah. Yeah. He looks like a different person. Uh, yeah. I had to like take a quick thought of who I was looking at earlier. That was some really cool. That great ASMR that we're missing out on. Oh, without headphones? Yeah. Yeah. That shot of him walking looks cool. Pack of cigs. Let's go. How is he up so With a view like that, I would be up every morning. Yeah. yeah. Easily. I know it's an anime, but how the fuck does his hair do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, again, it's anime, but still. Damn, did you see the little pieces of onion that fell off back there? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Making curry. Power? Oh, He's like a five year old dude. It's gotta be power. Oh! Why? Yeah. Oh, she has to live with them too. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> Don't they have only have two rooms? Yeah. <laughs> A good leash. Oh, damn. Hell, I don't even know if they have two rooms. Because no one else wants them. He hates this job now. Super toast. Oh, he's blushing. It's cat. I don't know, yeah. I'm, I'll be sus of her forever. Oh, what the oh. fuck? Nice! 
てめえ、よそいつくんだ失礼って思わねえのかよ He disrespecting the farmers. What? Oh my god, he's losing. They're both losing their mind. Yeah. They can build a hatred for her with each other and become friends. <laughs> Devil's poop, though. Shit, devil! Your turn to stuck to the damn toilet! Ah! <laughs> uh. Now's the time! Now? He's cleaning your shit! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no, uh. I closed the door! Not like this! <laughs> He's gonna shit himself! He hasn't washed his hands! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is like second half embarrassment so bad. Uh, what? what? You must flick. Three squeezes. So <laughs> <laughs> can this be a reoccurring thing? We can move up yeah. to 10. Yeah. <laughs> Starts throwing her cat into danger so you can do this more yeah. often. <laughs> I don't like this breathing. <laughs> oh, no, she's not. Ends. Damn, dude. Liar! Well, episode four. Yeah. That tang was disgusting. Yeah, very. I like how there's no name for the episode. I don't know if that's like a mess up on Crunchyroll or if that's just like the episode four. That's it. Maybe the, uh, what do they call her? The leech devil? Yeah. yeah. Maybe she comes back and reveals that there is just no name for her. I mean, she was in the outro, so I don't know. I don't know if it was like a, yeah. ooh, we thought. Yeah. And then she comes back and she's like actually a problem. Yeah. I don't know. Or maybe she just is the leech devil. Well, maybe Crunchyroll just effed up. For reference, once again, we don't have a title. So, there was lots of boobs on it. Why do we still have to wait to squeeze boob? In fairness? Why do we still have to wait? I'm, I'm for it. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay with waiting. You gotta at least make him, like, earn it a little. <laughs> I was disappointed. I was disappointed at the start of the episode, I have to say, because I jokingly said it'll be funny if the first time he fondles, it will be something not of his choosing, yeah. like something that's like a granny. Yeah. Lo and behold, Leech Devil has six teats. But you like, didn't try. No, you but I thought it would have at those. least been funny. It just ironically coincided with the desire that he of has. Our boy. Of and no just, comments just are made about it. in between his teeth and starts flapping them with his or, with nipples. Or, I don't know, make it <laughs> so, like, when they talks about the Battle of the Dreams, the demon, like, asks, well, what's your dream, idiot? <laughs> and it's like, six of those? I don't want. Yeah. Two of those? Yeah, I, that's I my want. dream. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all good. I did think I, it was funny. I did like that dream thing where he was... He was like, yeah. it, doesn't, it, it doesn't matter what your dream is. A dream is a dream. Yeah, don't be crushed. Nobody's someone's dreams like better. goals in life. Yeah, and, and you know what? And That's like, a valid point. And, and this, and this might be a good way to like segue like last videos <laughs> yeah. comments. Okay, first off, I will say, <laughs> for me personally, I will. This is, I'm just speaking for me. I won't ever speak for you too. I will say I'm a little harsh on this show specifically. <laughs> There's no particular reason. I just like maybe I just should be a little more charitable. I actually did go back and rewatch the three episodes because I'm like, why are people screaming at us? Like there has to be a reason. And I think that some of like the idea of him being like a not a loner, but like a a you know, not underdeveloped but you know what I mean? I, a, a child, yeah. a person that grew up without having the things in life. So yeah. minimal things seem as if they're huge. And he, he even makes that point in the episode. It's yeah. like, oh, you want to protect your family. You want revenge. Right. You want to save the world for whatever. Like, fuck all your dreams. 
I'm I still going to fight hard for mine, even if it's a little dream. Right. Yeah. And so I, I, I get that, and I, 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 honestly, I liked that spin on it more than the way it felt the previous episodes. So, you know, some of it is kind of just like a slow burn type of thing. Um, so I will say, for me personally, I'll be a little more charitable with this show. I'm not going to, like, dig on it. Um, well, I'll be the devil's advocate a little bit, too. It's a stupid goal. <laughs> I don't care. It's still goofy. Yeah. I, but I, I, and, like, if this was anyone yeah. else, like, there's plenty of people in this world who've never fondled boobs. And y'all would 100% criticize them if that was a real thing that somebody yeah. revealed to you. You'd be like, this guy. This guy. I mean, and, and I will. I will say this. I'll say this. You. You still. Uh, you can't just. Uh, we, I like the show, and sometimes I would just say be a little bit more merciful in the comment section because sometimes you guys telling us how we should react might diminish it. Yeah. I. I want to like it for how I like it. Right. And not have to like let the story develop. It yeah. will t- like the story will do the story's job. I don't need. Uh, we don't need. Hundreds of comments telling us how to feel about it. That this is the reaction channel. Yeah, you know? yeah. we're not going to have the same reaction as you guys. And if you want, you know, if you want to <laughs> have a little pat on the back, well, this is ain't the channel for you. We're going to be yeah. honest about our thoughts. Yeah. If you want somebody to just go tell you exactly what you want to hear, that's not <laughs> this ain't the channel yeah. for you. I hate, the, I hate to break it to y'all. Where's the authenticity there? And I, I'm gonna be real. And I will say, like, I personally will be more charitable for the show to just yeah. give it a little bit more chance. Because even like yeah. in the in rewatching the first three episodes and the fourth episode, I do have a different opinion on Denji and like understanding where he is. And even I think I think the touching of the boob thing is is even written to be a meme in itself. You know what I mean? Like how he brings it up in this episode, like. Fuck all your other dreams. Yeah, like, yeah. Mine matters too. But so I would say as we all are being charitable on our side of the camera, if you on your twi- your Twitter finger keyboard warriors want to be a little more charitable to us, yeah. that is fine. Um, any, <laughs> but no any, personal, any personal cringy attack, I mean, I'm never going to lose any sleep over anything yeah. anyone says online. Yep. So... If you're gonna be rude and like bully us, who cares? I I don't. Yeah. But I would just say for like the sanity of people, like don't argue with other people in the chan chan or in the comments. Don't be yeah. rude to others. Like I get it. And if someone doesn't like your show and it really bothers you and you don't want to watch their videos, that is okay too. But I will. I'm definitely going to try and be a little more charitable. But I still will be real. If it's something that's stupid, like the boob thing, is still stupid to me. But I understand it. it. It makes more sense now. But stupid doesn't manage. equate to bad. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Maybe as much as I did in prior videos, I probably felt more that it was bad on episode two, three watch through. Um, it's also jarring. It's the second episode. It's the second episode, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> we can't all be manga readers and like know what's going to come. What's going to happen? Ten Twenty episodes. Chapters from now. I mean, hell, I like Demon Slayer now. <laughs> it took a whole season, so mm-hmm. sometimes things take some late blooming for me to, or like these guys to like feel a certain way about it. Yeah. Um, and you're capping if you think that you genuinely like can fully grasp a story on first read. What, like, no. and that's the thing that I think that's even more annoying is I will never claim to be like the smartest one in the room or like I completely understand every single story on an instant read through. But it's like it takes time. People read things, they reread things, they watch things, they watch a YouTube video breaking down, they go yeah. to someone that's like the nerd lore master, you know, to explain everything. And then there's a lot of people that just maybe need more to ingest. I even saw a TikTok actually today. I wish I saved it because I wanted you to put it in the video where it was like me reading Chainsaw Man for 10 weeks straight. Me not understanding what the fuck Chainsaw Man's about. Like, and that's not everybody, but it's just, it just kind of felt yeah. <laughs> it like it was worth adding in here. And that's how you described the first episode. And and even I could say that I'm wrong about it because I understand I can see where right, like but the that's story your, is in, that's your interpretation. No, I know, but I I said that, which is actually very cool that you thought of that. Yeah, and I, and I I guess in one way I know that might piss people off because I didn't mean that it was he's not insulting it. I didn't mean that it was un like the show was random in the way that maybe initially it was unintentional, but it was clearly like enough to be like. 
I don't know. We've seen comments. I'm not going to read fully into the foreshadowing at this point because I don't want to, A, get spoiled for ourselves, but B, like people said, they've, there are things that are already being brought up now that are going to be important later on. I don't know exactly what those are yet, but to also like sit and pretend like I do know what those are and that it's all important, like it just doesn't make sense to me at this very moment. So I'll wait till it does make sense. And I'm, yeah. not gonna, I'm not going to be able to call it right now, and I'm fine with that. So anyways, acts on that chapter... Be nice to people in the comments, love each other, and we're going to talk about this episode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the episode was overall, like, pretty chill. I liked the worm lady. I mean, her design was really creepy. Yeah. I don't, something about the, the worm leading up to, like, hair just kind of It's very unsettling. gross. It's very gross. Um, very and just gross. the fact there's no yeah. eyes, the mouths are plentiful, and our arms. The fact that a creature like that could be romantic with something... It's, a bat, it's, of all things, it's, still. It's yeah, very, sometimes it's just worth not thinking about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't, like, we don't, we don't go down those rapid yeah, 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 We yeah. just let them exist. Aren't worth diving into. Got and, it. Uh, Got it. But man, a bat and a leech. Go, go, go. Stop, dude. Why cool. do you have to do that? <laughs> Maybe you'll we'll see it in this <laughs> anime. Um, yeah, and then there was the Battle of the Dreams, which was a really fun idea. A nice combat. Awesome. A nice combat to how Denji's been feeling because everybody's like <clears throat> kind of pushing his values and what he thinks is important in life and down. And shit on him for it. Um, and it doesn't matter. It's he, his that was a cool dream. Fight. That was a cool fight though. Yeah, I liked when he yeah. got like Feral, his eye was popped out and then he just started oh. like screaming. Like his moves weren't really exactly precise. It was more just the flailing of his body to kill the thing mm -hmm. to get his dream. Fight or flight? It... This is really funny that this is what makes me think of, but we're watching the Berserk series right now, and it makes me think of Griffith talking about how his dream is so great, and he only respects those who have dreams, dreams that come back his own. That are equally as So great, it made yeah. me think of, like, the battle of dreams. Guts and Griffith. Mm -hmm. Leech, Titty, and Denji. <laughs> like, <laughs> Romantically kill all humans versus touching some boob. Yeah, yeah. Um, and why did Power not join in the fight? You guys mentioned that. But I don't, also, why? I don't know. I don't know. I think she was kind of just like. Uh, I mean, she's probably just like mentally out of it from almost dying and. Yeah. Doesn't want to lose the cat again. I mean, yeah. Doesn't want to lose the cat. Also, basically giving up on the fact that she. I mean, at that moment, she was dead with the cat together. Yeah. Um, we also started at the beginning of the episode too, actually her running. reliving her life again with the with the cat. Um, and then her falling asleep in the clutches of the uh, with the cat, and then her waking up with the cat itself as well. Yeah, and she said like, she she questioned herself like, what is the purpose of this? Is does my dream really come down to something as silly as a cat? A cat? And then she was saying like, she it's misses foolish. warmth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like she she craves that thing, which is funny because then she also has that thing missing in his life um, yeah. because of his background. The, and they're both. Kind of, I mean, I would I would interpret it as like some type of like affection comfort yeah. relationship that they both lack that they both are yearning for. Mm. Unironically, and that's the thing, and that's another thing that's funny with the whole boob thing because I and feel the like because yeah. it, it extends beyond like than just touching the boob. It's like he's yearning for. He doesn't really comprehend that because he's too stupid to right now. But he wants more than just like the touch of boob. I think he wants like a person yeah. or a, or a yes. thing. And be. this and this, folks, is why you wait for the criticism because today would have been the episode that encapsulates the past four of the arc of the dream, where you realize that both things that they want coincide and the boob mm. and the cat are really just facades for human connection yeah, yeah. which we almost got at the end yeah. and they ripped us off again yeah, they did. but in a good way though. in a good way best part of the episode for me oh the fox yeah, yeah. The fox yeah grand old fox the click oh yeah i will say i knew about that i knew about that because getting a live wallpaper for the show no, 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 yeah getting a live wallpaper for the show was him going like this and then I saw the wolf behind him, and I was like, damn, so it's mm -hmm. the thing from the trailer. Yep. So, still was a cool reveal, though. The fox devil. Still was a cool reveal. Uh, he made a... So the nine yeah, tail so fox. They made yeah. a contract. Oh. Yeah. Dude, funny. Funny. Um, <laughs> I don't even understand yeah, so my reference. They made a contract. Yeah. And he just gave just up some blood wrist. and blue flesh. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Both his arms were wrapped up yeah. by the end of the episode. It was similar to the original pact he made with... Pachita. 
where it was just like a blood. He just bit him. A blood. Oh, a blood yes, transfer. yes. Very simple. Uh, very blood. Very easy blood transfer, and then deal is made. Um, I wonder how often he has to give blood. Is it like a constant thing or like a long time done? Yeah. Well, that's the thing because it's like we don't, or at least so far we haven't seen that. Like Pochita seemingly just had one, one time. time. Um, but the way that he made it seem like he, that bandage is still on his arm. So he's taking that thing off and letting it munch every so often. I want to know the origin for that. Because <laughs> it's a giant fox, not just a little chainsaw dog pulling up uh, on you in a grass field. So that'd be cool to see. I want more Pachita, too. I do. That's what I was going to say. I'd like him to come back. I do, too. I genuinely and unironically think he's going to be like Sakuna. Just kind of in the backdrop of the I'm show. Here and there. Backdrop in the show until they really need to bring Boring. it into the story. Or even if we had, like, a... It would be cool if there was a, um... Like, an internal, like... Uh, monologue. Conscious dream world monologue where he, like, can close his eyes think and he's, like, in a field hanging out with Pachita again. That would be really sweet. He's if on, that like, the, possible. He's on, like, the verge of death and Pachita's like, what about our dream, bro? <laughs> yeah. Come on, dog. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. That's almost too predictable. Maybe <laughs> not. I don't, I think it's, it's definitely gonna happen. I feel like it would just be funny if, if, like, okay, so if Power and him, like, if it happens and they touch... You know what I mean? It would be really funny if in the moment he's thinking and Pachita's like, he's like, Pachita, this is my dream. <laughs> this is what I've always wanted. Madonna. You wanted me to show Madonna you. Madonna should just start playing. Touch <laughs> for the very first time. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got a lot of, like, slow pans with uh, Aki. That's his name, Aki. Fushi Girl. It starts with an age. That, well, yeah, Haki is part of his name. It's one part of his name. Haka, Haka, Hawa. I don't know. I don't know. Aki. I don't we're, know. Sorry, I'm really bad with the names. Sorry, Haki. <laughs> but uh, more yeah. slow shots on Fushiguro. <laughs> Fushiguro two point oh. But yeah, he was. Um, we saw him getting ready to meet up with Makima um, and give the debrief on the deal. He also, he made a deal with, uh, what's his Denji. face? With Denji, being like, you okay, gonna say. I'm going to let this slide, and we'll, you know, you can run with your story, even though we know it's bullshit, but you literally have to obey me at this point. Yeah. yeah. Um, he then goes, reports that to <laughs> Sure, Makima. I'll think about it. Yeah. Sure, <laughs> why not? Um, he reports it to Makima, and... She kind of like is like, hmm, you're changing. Like you're there's something a little bit different about you. Is Denji rubbing off? And he's like, still, no. still strong in his stance. He's just letting this, he's just letting things develop and see how they go. Which I think is a little uh, weird because yeah. it's not weird, but it's kind of hard, I guess, for us to fully comprehend because yeah. him being flexible seems in the two episodes we've seen him does seem out of character yeah. but it's like yeah. not that out of character because we don't really know his character mm-hmm. it'd be different yeah. if we spent like 10 episodes with them and he was a stickler by the book rules which we saw in one scene when they went to that house with the where the porn was i'm gonna but. make a change up on calling him fushi you know he's more like already just out of four episodes who is um the hashira from the first episode the one that you dressed up as. Oh, Giyu. He's like Giyu. Tomioka. Like, yeah. we, we know he has a set value, values in place, and he's pretty strict. However, he's he has some breathing room to see if things can correct his own opinion on yeah. how the world operates. Yeah. So I'm going to call him Giyu Aki for now on. Yeah. That's um, fair, I think. Yeah, I, I would say that's about as much as we would have known about Giyu in the first few episodes as well. True. Um... Got a lot of cool, cool slow pans of him in his house. And a great scenery of the city. I don't think I've seen that that well in, in an anime until now. I like the shot of him when he walked outside. Yes, and you saw the buildings. I'm sorry for bringing up a different anime once again. It reminded me a lot of how I felt about the awesome 2D for Guts in Berserk. How something about it flowed really nicely, and it wasn't 3D. Like, sometimes if you can make 2D flow... And it not be 3D, but make the motions so, not like, dun, dun, dun. it was like, it just, I don't know, I don't know how they do it, and I'm not going to pretend, but sometimes when they just get the motion looking liquidy and it's 2D, really impresses me. I really don't see it often in anime, but 
When you said um, you were impressed by him walking, was that when he was on the balcony? Pressed by him? Impressed. Oh, impressed? Yeah. Uh, like on the the ba- yeah the balcony, okay. going to his seat. Mm-hmm. It was him walking out. So to you read guys, the newspaper. Yeah, right? for reference, you guys can go and see that mo- moment. But yeah, that would have been what it was. They made curry. Love that. The food animation is good in this show. Oh, yeah. Like onions. I said, go watch the scene where he's cutting the onion. You just see little pieces fall off towards like his hand. Yeah. It looked amazing. And yeah. we got a new roommate. We got a new yeah, roommate. Yeah, power. This is going to be fun. She seems foul. She is foul. She, is she likes to let her shit build up before she flushes it. Oh, my feral. gosh. <laughs> Fer- feral in nature. I mean, she must eat she doesn't birds. like to bathe. What animals do that? What animals are, like, proud of their poop? Cats, they scoop it over and hide it. Dogs, sometimes they eat their own. Dung beetles. Dung beetles, they sit on it. Maybe she's just well, a dung beetle. Well, they push their poop. They keep it with them. In a ball. Yeah. What do they do? What do they do with that? I don't... I think pass it on to the next generation. Like a trophy. <laughs> that yeah. is not a thing. Is that a thing? I don't. <laughs> I just know they push their poop. They keep it with them. We need a documentary on what animals do with their poo, and does it differ from humans that just flush it? If there's a documentary on YouTube, tag us in the comment section. <laughs> Please do. Please. I will not watch. We will. I will. For the channel. <laughs> for for oh, better God. conversations and following episodes. Stay tuned for that footnote. Uh, Next thing you know, there's gonna be three boxes on this on this table of our own shit. Okay, well, maybe not that far. <laughs> maybe not that. Far. I don't know if I'll keep that in. <laughs> but the <laughs> final part, the final part of the episode was, hey, you, me, you get three, three squeezes, one for the cat, one for. Saving me. Defeating the owl. And, and one, one for the defeating the bat. The owl, the bat. Yeah. So is this like a system that can ever change? Well, like, it sounds like it's a point system. Like, yeah. I'm scared if he <laughs> does point two system. grabs. Does it? But, but, yeah. but think of this. Maybe you do two She's grabs. Like, you earned those now. No, but, but, but think of this. If I go, may I? Your yeah. Knee, I'll, your knee is the boob in this. Yeah. Okay. okay, so if I go one and two, mm-hmm. we're, the agreement's still full, right? The agreement's yeah. still full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I grab that, it might be done and over. So you do two, and then you, you say, wait. I'm not ready yet. Yeah. And so the negotiation is still there. Like, it, the, the deal has the not deal completed. Hasn't completed. So the deal can point. continue to be sweetened should cat get in trouble again. So oh. then what I do is I take that cat, and I put it in the street it. in front of the car. Power! Yeah. Save the cat! I like another one. <laughs> Do another grab. Yeah. Deal's still going. Uh, you don't sweet. finish it. Yeah. yeah. Okay? I okay. say that's how we do this. I gotcha. Thing. That's my prediction for episode five. This reminds me of the episode of Fairly Odd Parents where the guy who wants to catch fairies gets three wishes from a genie, but he only selectively makes those wishes. Fair enough. After he uses two, he always says, I wish for two more wishes, and he gets more. It's the cheating system, but yeah. we're going to see if it can play. I think the next episode should be called The Negotiations. The Negotiations. Or The Squeeze. <laughs> Bro. The Squeeze. I like that one, too. Oh, my God. Melons. Melon. Melon. Damn it. Melon. <laughs> but I like this episode. I feel like it finished the little, like, dream arc. The first four episodes. Yeah, It's like own little... Thing before we continue. I will not say that. I will say each one of these episodes feels so fucking random. It is random, but I the, feel we just got a crazy awesome <laughs> battle with a bat. Jump into another one. But it does finish the arc in terms of completing where the these story feels. It, but yeah. it's, it sets up like okay, this is the official team. This is their living situation. Now we go forward. Like we've all made agreements to be a part of the team. You are going to babysit. You two are gonna behave and not run off and do something stupid, or you die. And that was me, my bad. Um, and yeah, and now we're good. So yeah. wait, I, I did like the room, the roommate part. Yeah, roommate. that's always fun. It'll be interesting. Yeah, that. I hope they get more like. Can we get like a whole episode of just them in the hang out, like yeah, just, hang off day. just hanging out? Yeah. Like, well, this episode almost was that. I feel like half mm-hmm. the episode was that. But it would have been funny. How, how we said we want that from my hero. I do. Just I like. I like those episodes. The dead. Yeah. If yeah, if the content's fun in general, outside of that, it's fun to interact off mm-hmm. the intense moments. But yeah, you have to earn them though. They're more fun if you earn them and work to get those moments. I don't want it right away because I don't fully love these characters. I need I need some time before I feel like I need that. Just like the squeezing of a boob. The boob. Sometimes the foreplay is more fun than mm-hmm. the. Well, you have to earn it. To some people. Yeah. 
Guys, if you made it to this point, let us know your thoughts on episode four. How are you feeling about the show? Are you liking it? Uh, tell us your thoughts about us. Did you enjoy our reaction? Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, check out the Patreon. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next reaction. Bah! Oh, bah, bah, bah. You didn't say punch it. Punch it, sorry. <laughs> Fond. Stop. <laughs> Don't fondle the people. It's not, it's the mic.